what time it is? What time is it? It's Magic Chef time. Oh my gosh, that's right. Ralph Pagano has taken over the kitchen. When it comes to meal prep, busy moms don't need to feel pressured, especially at the holidays. Today, I've got a handy dandy multi cooker that's going to save time and energy. I'll work my magic in the kitchen with this Magic Chef multi cooker to create a hearty beef stew with an Italian twist. Now, this is the greatest thing about this multi cooker it's got seven different cooking methods in one. It's got pressure cook, slow cook, rice, steam, sear, yogurt, and keep warm. Right now, I'm going to show off the sear function. I'm making beef stew. I got all my ingredients laid out right here. Some cubed meat, some olive oil goes right in here into my Magic Chef that I preheated a little bit just at the push of one button. I got the meat. Now, I want you to come over here and listen to this. Can you hear this? Can you hear that sizzle? That's real sizzling going on. That's not made up for TV. This is the real deal. Here's the fact. Whenever you find color on your food, that's where the flavor comes from. How do you find color? You sear it. You get the caramelization of the meat, which develops all this great flavor, and it's going to make this beef stew taste absolutely fantastic. Let me pop the pieces in here. 14 electric presets for one-touch cooking convenience. See all these buttons over here? They're going to make your life easy. It's simple, simple, simple. That's it. All right, check this out. I've got my meat searing right now in the Magic Chef multi-cooker, but I'm going to show you a couple of other things that I've already made for it. You like pot roast? Who doesn't like pot roast? Slow cooked in the multi cooker. How about this? The chicken. We've taken some chicken breast, some peppers, some tomatoes, some onions and spices, put it into the multi cooker, press go, came back a little bit later, and just shred the chicken out. I've got great burritos. I can put it in pasta. I can make chicken salad out of it. There's a million things you can do. It's all about capacity and it's all about convenience with the Magic Chef multi cooker. How about this? Lobster mac and cheese around the holidays. I'll tell you what you're going to get. You're going to get happy relatives at your house, and your neighbors are going to be knocking on the door. How do you make it? You take the macaroni. You take a little bit of water, some heavy cream, some cheese. You pop it in the multi-cooker. You press go. You come back. It's silky and delicious. You get a little bit of fresh lobster to it. Boom, done. The party's over. Let's come over here and check this out a little bit more. While this is cooking, I'm going to add to it some salt and some pepper. Really developing a great sear on these items. Going to add to this vegetables. You get your carrots, celery, and onion. You know, they're traditional mirepoix. I got a couple of cloves of garlic that I crushed. Who don't like garlic? It's good for you. Some tomato paste. A little bit of beef broth. I'm going to add some fresh herbs. I've got fresh thyme, oregano, and bay leaf. They all go in here. Now watch how simple this is. I know that I'm a trained chef. I know that you've seen me all over the world on TV, radio, and parts unknown. But let me show you how easy my beef stew is. Number one. Number two, you come over here, you press the meat stew button. I press the meat stew button, and that's it. My participation in this meal is now officially over. I happen to be a kind of magic chef, so I've already got some stew ready to go. I got it done Italian style, as I've been telling you. I got a couple of potatoes that I'm going to add to my dish, maybe a little bit of escarole. I'm going to throw a little rosemary in there. You can get all this stuff done, and then the magic chef multi cooker takes care of the rest. Look at this inside here. I've got beautiful beef that's cooked together with the celery and the carrots and the onions. You can smell that bay leaf. You can smell that garlic in there. Wow, this is so good. Going to put it out like this. You see how easy this is? Oh, that looks great. This stuff looks great. Now check this out right over here. Let me bring this to your attention. This little circle that's going on around, that's the pressure being built up. Here's the story about cooking with pressure. When you cook with pressure, you actually save time, money, and energy. Food that cooks under pressure cooks 70% faster than food that doesn't. So if that math works for you, that means you're cutting time off your day, you're making, putting money in your pocket, and you're putting delicious food in your mouth. For me, that's what I call a hat trick. I'm going to tell you something. I want to hear more about your recipes. Head to magicchef.com for more information or our website, thebalancingact.com. And stay tuned, because in the coming months, I've got more Magic Chef magic. They, along with Home Depot, have a multi-cooker with a sous vide feature coming out. And if you haven't tried to cook that way, you're going to want to give it a try. You're going to love it. Remember, this has been a quick bite. Or too slowly. <laughs>